Hello, it's freaking hot out and I wanna die. Alas, it has hit that time of year where if I go outside, it's mainly consisting of this. <laughs> and so I will be sequestered inside, showering myself with artificially cooled air and trying not to talk about how sweaty I am. And I'll be honest, your mom, let me break down what was just about to happen. I was gonna say your girl needs a break from crafting and also mama needs a break from crafting at the same time. And so it came out as, I'll be honest, your mom. <laughs> okay. Mama needs a break from crafting. It's been a while on this channel since I've done just putting some outfits together and playing dress up as a little respite from being a floor troll. And so this morning I ventured forth onto the land of the instant gram. I asked you guys to send me some outfit prompts, sort of similar to what I did for my aesthetics videos. Essentially there's a theme here of me not doing any of the work because my brain is goop. I outsource it to you wonderful human beings. Pick out my favorites and put together outfits with what I I have. I keep collecting. It's like a materialistic and maximalist dragon <laughs> pile and I sit on them and I don't wear them. It's a little bit of a harder landing than I thought it was gonna be. Let's get to scrolling, shall we? I have not looked at these yet and I'm quite excited. Already I'm seeing some I'm excited about. Consider my fancy tickled. A crow who really loves shiny treasures. Looks normal but is actually just three raccoons in a trench coat. Danny DeVito core, soup king. <laughs> I like the sausage king of Chicago. Make it Korok. Yeah ha ha! A no earth tones adventurer outfit. First of all, how dare you? I'm feeling a little attacked right now. Okay, all right, we got some good options here. I'm already seeing two duplicates, so I'm gonna do that one first. And it is Victorian ghost child. Thankfully, dressing like a sickly, historic orphan is something I've dabbled in. Now, ultimately, I must rummage through all of my belongings and see what most to me screams, please, sir, may I have some more? Essentially, it comes down to asking myself, WWTCD. That's right, what would Timothy Chalamet do? I wanna go little boy with this, which is not a sentence you'll often hear me saying, but today is your lucky day. This'll do. Mm -hmm. I struggled with this because I have, uh, surprise, surprise, a lot of brown pants and not really a lot of white or cream. Fun little jodhpur number that I got, Ralph Lauren. If anything screams, little Victorian boy, it's Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, you can thank me for that new tagline whenever you feel like it. Ugh. Sorry about that, just gonna kick my <laughs> hand-me-down shorts from my sister that I've had since approximately 2002 adding like an ascot and then some stockings, cute little shoes, maybe a little candelabra. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. These are wrinkly, but I care not. And if you think that ghosts have access to irons in the afterlife, then you gotta go touch grass. Oh, these are a little see-through. <laughs> now, it's all right, we'll go corduroy. <laughs> roll up, roll out. All right, next. Ah! Oh, this one's kind of cute. Toadstool tutelage, which is a very interesting mix of sounds in my mouth. Tutelage. Okay, so I'm thinking for this one, I have my mushroom shirt, but like a very Dead Poets Society kind of vibe. As much as I would absolutely implode if I wore a sweater vest right now, I think, I think maybe I gotta think about it at least. Let's look up old school students, shall we? That's what tutelage means, right? Tutelage, state of being under a guardian or tutor. So you can be under a tutelage of someone. So that's kind of Dead Poet Society, no? They're being tootled. I'm seeing a lot of sweater vests. You know, the problem is that I have a clear image of what I would want this to look like. And I guess in some cases that's where if they were drawing prompts, it would probably be better. Cause ideally I would love to do a sweater similar to this, but it's mushrooms. I don't have that. We're gonna make do. But first I'm going to take off this vest, lay down and scream a little. I will rejoin you in a few minutes. 
I'll be honest with you, this one's a little tricky. I'll, well, I'll show you what, get off. What my brain has put together so far. My mushroom shirt, right? Okay. Sweater vest, a collared shirt underneath. More scholarly approach. It's a long skirt. This might work and it might also look really, really dumb. True life, every outfit I put together just looks like an old stinky prospector. Let's try it and then we'll go from there. Oh, this is kind of a look right here. Rootinous, tootinous cowboy of the Wild Wild West. You know what they say, when it's 86 degrees out, throw on wool from head to toe. You've heard that before, right? Mmm. Tutelage. This isn't the worst thing I've ever put together. I'm gonna throw some on here and see if we can make this better. This next one, surprise, surprise, I'm struggling a little. So I got one for Muppet Core and one for Kurumi in the Rainbow Connection scene. Theoretically is right up my alley. When it comes to making an outfit that represents that. Oh. What I'm thinking though, okay, okay, wait. My Moss Core shirt. So we got that. Maybe a little 60s, 70s with this. Corduroy dress. And then these shoes that I got. Come on now. The rainbow connection. I'm gonna take these pumped up kicks and somehow incorporate them into the outfit. I don't know how to make it scream a little bit more frog, a little bit more Kermy. Ascot thing, so I'm thinking like, that's kind of pointy, like Kermit's little, what is that? Ooh, okay, well, let's try. <laughs> I feel about this one either. Subjectively, I think it's a pretty decent outfit, but does it look like Muppet Core or Kermit in any way, shape, or form? Well, but hey, listen, we're just having fun and we're putting together some outfits. Next one, I would be lying if I said I didn't choose because I got this new shirt and I think it would be perfect for this prompt. Treasure Planet Chic. What I would wear if I were a passenger aboard this flying ship. Just got this Sterndle shirt. Might just be my absolute favorite thing I've ever purchased. And every time I look at it, I just want to cry and throw up a little. Ready? I don't think you are. Are you throwing up yet? Look at it. We're gonna go with this shirt because I feel like it's perfect for a piratey treasure planet kind of thing. It even has a rope. Hmm? I'm gonna pair it, I think, with some secret pants because, you know, I need some mobility if I'm gonna be running around a pirate ship in the air. Some cute Victorian boots. We're going very Victorian steampunk with this. This is, this is more towards my comfort zone. Let's do it. something i don't know i don't think i've ever even heard that song sadly i have to take this off i don't want to because it's so freaking cute switching things up a little bit i think the next one i'm gonna do summer vampire baby what would a vampire wear in summer although theoretically i think during the summer a vampire would probably be in the dustbin <laughs> easy breezy beautiful blood suckers and if anything says vampire in the summertime, it is this blouse by the amazing I Do Declare. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some sort of white skirt. Fun little headpiece that came with a 70s wedding dress that I got one time. Beaded little swooshy veil. Oh no, let's give it a shot. <laughs> say 
day. I am not cut out for vampire life. If I had fangs, this is my resting state. Come here, Sailor. Really? Oh, what are you supposed to do with them? This does not strike fear into the heart of men. <laughs> Moving on! Day two. Doing this has made me quite sad that I'm not able to make every single one of these. <laughs> oh man, they're so good. <laughs> one that I keep seeing a lot is anything to do with space. Space cowboy, retro futuristic. I would love to do like a retro space look, but I just, I, I, I don't have any chrome. Also a lot of Barbie prompts, alas alack. I own zero pink. <laughs> <laughs> those are a couple of the prompts that I'm like, oh, I wish I could do those. Here are some honorable mentions. Your dad at the beach, but make it vintage. Princess who was a frog a week ago and honestly would like to go back to being a frog. This place suck. That one was probably cut off, but I kind of like how it looks as is. A pickle in a jar. One really big lamp. Sexy cicada. Anywho, one that I got that I really liked was Lost Boy Core. And while I'm unsure if they mean this kind of Lost Boys or Lost Boys this kind of Lost Boy, surprisingly out of my wig collection, a bleach blonde mullet is not included. So I'm choosing to go the Peter Pan route. On all levels of sub physical, I am a Lost Boy. Mainly gathering inspo from Hook because I love the Lost Boys from that movie. I think I'm gonna pull together uh, just a bunch of sh <laughs> Maybe throw some like fake fur in there somewhere. We're just gonna scrounge. It's a rat girl summer, baby. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Texture. I need more shit. It's so much brown. I can't be stopped. That's how my brain works. Frick. We're gonna make it work. Another one that I got a lot of requests for, either Bog or Swamp Witch, I will very gladly do because that sounds magical. Specifically, I'm thinking of this one that said, like, what does it say? I have the memory of a hamster. Cute Swamp Witch on a day out. Well, I think that sounds adorable, so I'm gonna do that. I've always struggled with the idea of what a Swamp Witch looks like. In my brain, it's just covered in moss and rags and the will to lure children into the swamp with a trail of candy. Um, I don't have those things. <laughs> sort of like the Lost Boys outfit, I'm gonna try to just layer things, which I think I have a tendency to struggle with. I just got this in the mail that I ordered a few weeks ago. Smock dress. Ready? <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like the coziest thing you've ever seen. Main objective, be Ebenezer Scrooge. Perhaps wear a corset over it, possibly wear another skirt either on it or under it. I got this cutie little witch hat in my P.O. box. Come on, I can't not use that in this situation. This might be on the nose for witch, but it's freaking adorable, so I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> I simply have a fan at Christmas. Do I look like Michael Caine yet? Oh, this is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen. And it has pockets. Ha! Ah, so cute. Okay, skirt on top. Oh no! Now this. Yep, I can feel them. I can feel the vibes. Getting there. <laughs> A couple of very topical Indiana Jones. Admittedly, already done an Indiana Jones look for one of my outfit videos before, but it's been at least a couple years, so I think we'll do for an updated version. Also, Nick and I have been re watching through all the movies to prepare ourselves to go see the new one. 
this feels right. A button down shirt, some khaki pants, a jacket, and of course the hat. You see the secret of channeling Indiana Jones is a very deep V and a sprinkle of misogyny. to wholeheartedly apologize for how many creams and neutrals and earth tones are in this video. Uh, the day that you catch me wearing a neon or a pastel, I think I might have to include a jump scare warning. I don't know man, I'll tell you what, my limited capacity to style outfits in anything other than the same three colors is really making this a challenge for me. The next prompt I'm quite giddy about, which is trunchbull core. Thank you, Savannah. The reason I am giddy, I will tell you right now, is because I think I have the perfect sweater for it. Cha! <laughs> Does that not scream, shock butt champion? Let's friggin' do it. <laughs> All right, our next and finale outfit. One that I saw a variation of quite a few times. It was either goth hobbit or I saw a couple emo hobbit. So quite simply, I think I'm just gonna make a hobbit outfit, but in black. Got a little surprise for you. Another amazing I Do Declare piece because it's got a really beautiful, interesting skirt. A dorndal vest on because it's velvety and very hobbity. I think I might throw a black wig on. It's the final outfit, might as well go a little netzo. Yeah, I mean, I think that should do it. Are you ready? Let's go. On that only slightly unhinged note, we are done. <laughs> I look like I should be singing in The Cure. Oh boy. I wanted to do a good uh, even 10 this time around. I had so much fun with this. It was honestly really challenging. I tend to forget until I start doing outfits based on themes or prompts, just how hard it can be. Conjure a certain aspect of a character or visual language nonsense that I tend to struggle with. It's, it's a good exercise for my brain. You know, the whole point of this was that I didn't wanna craft because I felt like it was gonna be too hot. Turns out doing rapid changes while it's 90 degrees out is also Miserable. The next two videos, I believe, coming out for me are gonna be big projects that I've been wanting to work on for a while. So I just needed something a little bit more chill to allow myself to start researching that and start ramping up on that. Starting to get to the point where we can slowly start scurrying into autumn, like the wee little Halloween muskrats that we are. And I've already started chipping away at Max Halloween stuff this year, so needless to say, I'm very excited. I think the next few months are gonna be really fun. Gird your loins, I guess. Usual spiel. If you wanna check out extra content, you can head to patreon.com slash rachelmaxi. It's $5 a month. I recently put up my England vlog there. It's nice and cozy. I have new videos there every other week. It's good stuff. It's a good time. Uh -huh. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every other Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. 
this out twice. Trash man. Becomes a... Blah, 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 blah. Thankfully, just like... Blah. Pretty Rango. Rango connection. Stevie Nicks' Cottagecore album. You want your freedom. Don't know why I'm doing that. Red rum.